Okay, so what is important in expromission? Number one, it must have been at the initiative of the third person. Okay, and number two, there must be what you call consent of the creditor. Okay, uh, of course, we can add the third. There must be an express, okay, uh, intention, or it must be clear that this third person would want to substitute the debtor as a party to the credit or to the obligation. That is why, as in the case of Villanueva versus Girged, 110 Philippines, okay. Uh, a owes B money. C C wrote B. Okay, si B yung creditor that he will take care of A uh, of of the uh, debt of A as soon as A makes shipment of logs to Japan. So parang may condition. All right. A did not comply with the condition. He did not ship the lugs to Japan so C did not pay uh, B okay so the question now is uh, may C be liable to B okay so Supreme Court said no because expromission did not take place for there was no consent on the part of B there was no consent on the part of B. That is the creditor. B did not give his consent for in so far as the proposal of C to replace A. So there is nothing there in the stipulation of the facts. And besides, you will know that the liability or the commitment of C is only if there is a condition that is fulfilled. Now, considering that the condition was not fulfilled, uh, that makes it more all right uh, sure for us to insist that there was no liability on the part of C the third person right so if we go on uh, we will have some examples of this but uh, these are the uh, these are the things that you will need about uh, to know about expromission now let's go to delegation so delegation is affected with the consent of the creditor at the instance of the old debtor <coughs> delegante with the concurrence of the new debtor delegado okay so here it will be similar to the payment made by a third person now depends on what would be the right of the third person. You remember against the debtor, it's reimbursement or 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 subrogation, depending on whether or not there was knowledge or consent on the part of the debtor. But what is the difference between delegation and expulsion? In delegation, here the initiative is at the instance or it, the initiative is from the debtor si debtor ang humihiling na i-replace siya ng third person that is why in order for delegation to take effect obviously one the, it is the the debtor the old debtor who initiates it okay number two of course it has to be consented to by the third party and also number three there has to be the consent of the creditor so again uh, expromission you remember what was needed was merely of course the initiative on the part of the third party and consent of the creditor All right whether or not the debtor uh, had knowledge and or consent of such uh, uh, expromission was not of important insofar as determining whether expromission did take place or not okay so that would be the the distinction between the two now of course you know, again in my powerpoint presentation just please take note of the 
examples there again. You have Hodges versus Ray. Look at your PowerPoint. Oh. And then uh, uh, note in Mercantile Insurance Company versus Court of Appeals, April 22, 1991. It tells us that the mere fact that the creditor receives a guarantee or accepts payment from a third person who agrees to assume the obligation when there is no agreement that the first debtor shall be released from responsibility does not constitute novation and the creditor can still enforce the obligation against the original debtor. So what becomes only of the third party here? The third person becomes merely a co-debtor, surety or co-surety. See? So, aside from the in expromission aside from so we can add the third aside from uh, it is at the initiative of the of the third person uh, agreed to by the creditor it must be clear that the third par person is to replace the old debtor uh, thereby releasing this debtor from any responsibility or the juridical tie so, in the absence of that being clear, in so far as the debtor being released from the obligation, okay, the, 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 the act of the third person may still result to some legal effect where he becomes merely a third party who will be entitled, remember, to either subrogation or, or reimbursement. But, because it did not result to a expromission or novation, the creditor may still run after the original debtor even if the creditor was already accepting payment from this third party or who may have asked already to be constituted as a surety or a solidary debtor in that regard. Okay? Oh.